Hey, 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 everybody. It's Jade. Thanks so much for scrolling by the channel or just swinging through the channel. Whatever brought you here. Happy to have you. And NFL fans, Vikings fans, purple people. We are so close <laughs> to the season beginning. It's, it's just like so close that it's pretty much almost already here. So Vikings slated to open their season, of course, hosting the Evil to the East. One week from this Sunday, so what do we got? Seven, about nine days. Math is hard, but slated to kick off at 325 Central Time at the Bird Graveyard, aka US Bank Stadium. So excited. We're finally going to be able to see the starters playing because we have yet to see anything going on. And um, as of this week too, I think the official day was Tuesday. I've just been kind of like laying back in the purple weeds, just waiting for, you know, waiting to see how everything unfolds. But um, the roster has been set. So the most notable names that are now missing from the Vikings, which I'm not gonna lie, I I don't know if I have to fully admit that I was wrong here. Okay, I was wrong, but Kirk, are you comfy? Kirk, are you still comfortable? Because your emotional support quarterback isn't on the roster anymore. I am semi-shocked, but like pleasantly so. Nothing personal against Sean Mannion, but he's not a backup quarterback, but apparently he's off in Seattle. He's a Seattle Seahawk now, so so long, Sean Mannion, AKA Kirk Cousins emotional support quarterback. No longer. Um, I believe, too, Sean Mannion is now on the practice squad for Seattle, but we'll see what uh, transpires there. And, I mean, I was kind of over the camp, too, that the only reason the Vikings had him was, you know, for Kern to keep him comfortable. I still am convinced of that, but I was not really convinced that he would land anywhere else. But, hey, onwards and upwards to Sean Mannion. Thanks for, you know, supporting the Vikings quarterback. You know, that's what you needed to do. So, all the best to Sean. I mean, no like ill will against him or anything. It's just like, dude, isn't like a viable backup quarterback. And I'm glad that the Vikings new regime head coach, general manager realized that and they did something about it. All right. Cause we got Nick Mullins. Now we, as in the Vikings for a backup quarterback to none other than Kirk Cousins, pizza ranch boy. And of course, another notable name missing from the Vikings roster now is another quarterback, Kellen Mond. Um, I still do think like Kellen Mond, there was so many, there was some struggles here in Minnesota. Of course, we know that wasn't really amounting to much, but I still think there's some glimmer there. Some glimmer of hope. I still think some stuff could be brewing there for Kellen Mond. He's now with the Cleveland Browns uh, with Kevin Stefanski, former, uh, what was he, offensive coordinator for the Vikings. Oh, it's been so long. But yeah, anyway, so best of luck to Kellen Mond, too. And just watch now. He just, like, ends up being the starting quarterback for Cleveland or something. But, um... So moving on to, uh, all right, now, some Vikings that have joined the team. Well, there was a rumor about Dominic and Sue joining the Purple earlier this week, which I thought actually happened, but it seems that he's not a Minnesota Viking yet. And it sounds like his preferred landing spot is with the Cleveland Browns. So we shall see there. But an interesting a little pickup here that the Vikings acquired is Jalen Ragar from a uh, wide receiver from Philly. I hope I'm saying his last name, Ragar. I'm pretty sure that's right. But so the Vikings have him on the roster now, uh, another wide receiver, obviously. But what's interesting about that was he, him and Justin Jefferson were drafted the same year. And I think they were like a pick away from one another or Philly picked him first. Uh, Philly picked Jalen over Justin. And then the Vikings were like, ooh, we got Justin Jefferson. So now the two were on the same team. I could mess up a little bit there. People that, that know, you know that I'm not the best with the like college sports and with the NFL draft. That is not my forte, but I try. I try. But exciting for the wide receiver core, getting a little depth there. Because uh, BC Johnson, sounds like he's going to be out too with the ACL tear. And then, so the Vikings, obviously, they have Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. Um, who's, who knows what's really going on with Irv Smith Jr.? Allegedly, supposedly, he's supposed to be back for week one, constantly injured. Um, and then K.J. Osborne, obviously. So getting a little depth there. And then now adding Jalen Ragar. So hopefully, you know, that helps some depth because the Vikings, they're in need of, of depth on the roster. And one other place, too, that they really got a lot of depth now is at running back. I mean, they have 
since, you know, since the start of this season, it's been like, okay, that's the one place the Vikings have some depth. But now, now the rumors, the rumblings, they're gaining even more steam that um, Alexander Madison, my dude, Alexander Madison might be on the chopping block or, you know, on the, you know, on the hush hush. Hey, you want him? What do we need? No. How about Dalvin Cook instead? All right, how about Dalvin Cook instead? You could get some more for Dalvin. And I think Alexander Madison and Dalvin Cook are pretty equal. Yeah, maybe Cook's just nudge up. But Alexander Madison can hold his own. And I have been a huge proponent from day one. And I really think that the Vikings should have traded Dalvin Cook when he was at his peak. Could have gotten more. That has since, you know, passed. But, hey, I don't work for the team. I just give suggestions. And they continue to not really listen to me. But one day one day. So I will be, I will be really, really bummed if Alexander Madison leaves, but watch him go to the Bills Mafia because they're my second favorite. Cause they got my dude, Case Keenum, who made the roster, uh, Stefan Diggs. And I believe Jordan Berry, I think went to Bills Mafia as well. So just watch like Alexander Madison going there too. I'm not like saying that I want that. I want him to stay with the purple, but it would just be interesting if that actually happened. So I'm looking at my nerd notes here your notes for the win people um okay so I think that was actually the most stuff that I wanted to touch on with the purple like I said I mean there's so much stuff still moving and grooving we still have about nine days math is hard <laughs> until this season starts so exciting it is it's officially I think we can officially say that it's border battle week even though it's not te technically more than a week right I think we can say it's border battle week which is like my favorites during the season. It's my favorite when the Vikings face off uh, with the evil to the east. So what better way to start the season? Very much looking forward to it. I do plan on live streaming. So please join on in during the stream. Uh, probably going to go on a little bit early like I normally do. Um, but then some other stuff too that I wanted to touch on. Just some little rumors going around uh, within the NFL. And um, so one of the biggest one actually well, the only one really that I wanted to touch on right now is their trouble in paradise for Father Time Tom and Giselle Boonchin. Apparently, that's a rumor on the street, is that there's trouble in paradise there for that couple. And um, allegedly, supposedly, more air quotes here, a lot of air quotes happening, um, that <laughs> Giselle wasn't too happy with Tom deciding to come back and play another season. It's the tale as old as Tom. Tale is, old, tale is old as father time Tom. Seriously, it's like year after year we keep hearing that. So I feel as if possibly there could be some truth to that. Sure, like where there's smoke, there's fire. But I also heard a little rumor where I'm like, well, okay, so he was allegedly on The Masked Singer, right? Tom Brady, allegedly, supposedly. But then I was hearing some rumors, rumblings, why we didn't see Tom Brady at practice because he supposedly got um, veneers put in, like, you know, the fake teeth, like those nice, bright white, fake fancy teeth that they put in, put in people's gums. They like drill them in. Apparently, allegedly, supposedly, he got that work done and then got like an infection in his mouth. So that allegedly, supposedly, is why he was missing practice because he got um, like, a, I think they, I don't know if they consider it like plastic surgery, but... He's getting some fake teeth in, allegedly, supposedly. It's like, dude, you probably got some teeth knocked out after a couple of times. So, rumors, people, you always got to look into it a little bit more, right? And as part of me, tinfoil hat time here, is like, oh, there's trouble in paradise for Tom and Giselle because Tom decided to come back again. We hear that every year, right? So, that could just be a cover for the fact that he got some fake old teeth in and then got an infection and didn't want to, you know, didn't want to say that because he wants to protect his little precious ego. Just my opinion here, people. But, you know, just look into some things, right? Look into them. Look into them. And um, I think that was the last thing, actually, sports-related that I wanted to talk about, or NFL-related, really. I think I'm missing a few things, um, but yeah, it's purple time here, people. Purple talk. And um, yeah, like I said, Minnesota Vikings, first game of the season, first the Evil to the East, week from Sunday, and then, two the day before, wishing everybody in advance a happy full moon. There's a full moon on September 10th, so... 
Maybe that'll be um, make a even more wacky and wild game for the Vikings and the evil to the east. It's always crazy anyway, but add a full moon into the mix and there you go. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for everybody. I hope you all have a safe and lovely uh, Labor Day weekend, whatever you're doing. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And until next time, I will catch you on the flip side. All right, everybody. Peace out.